My name is Tim Kilday. I'm the Senior Marine Biologist for SA Water. And my number one focus is making sure that we could actually develop a project that was not going to have um, a major impact on the local region. So I had a fairly strong background in assessing environmental impacts. We we're dealing with a level of environmental awareness that I've never actually encountered on any other project that I've worked on. And as a consequence, what we have is something I'm very proud of. It's probably the most environmentally sensitive project that I've worked on in regards to my career as a marine biologist. Uh, the number of issues that we've had to deal with over the past 18 months um, yeah, have been huge. In terms of how we've handled those issues, some of the innovations that I've seen have been outstanding. We were going to dredge, we have to dredge, but there's only a small amount of dredging, but we still had that prospect of dealing with a, a sediment plume. To solve that, the team developed a groundwater treatment plant and placed it on a barge and treated the water as it was being uh, pulled up from the dredge. As a consequence, we never produced a plume. I've never seen that anywhere in the world in terms of managing dredging activities offshore and that would be considered to be state of the art. I firmly believe actually we have the, the Rolls-Royce of monitoring programs. I don't know of any other plant in Australia operating at the same level of monitoring that's been undertaken at Port Stanback. That gives me great confidence that uh, yeah, what we initially set out to achieve uh, will be achieved. <laughs>